Well, in terms of the individuals, privacy is not one of the factors to be weighed under Rule 26. Nevertheless, there is certainly, I've seen some excellent scholarship suggesting it should be. I've also seen some cases where judges not really caring that it isn't there are weighing privacy in the discovery calculus. Why do you need every Facebook entry? That's not going to happen, okay? We've got to figure out a way to get you what you need and still preserve the privacy of these people. They didn't lose everything. Uh, more to the point, they've communicated with other people with privacy. So the question of privacy is now at the fore of discovery and is going to be reckoned with as a ground for not producing something. In terms of the question of the privacy of the employees in what they create while they're in the boss's employ, whether they are in the office, which nobody is anymore, or in the office on their computers at home. And we are always haunted by the mixed juice of the computer, where I always tell my students, <laughs> there's something terribly wrong, where the date of highest in internet use is the day after Thanksgiving, because everybody's shopping. The next is the day after the NCAA brackets come out. I'm not particularly fond of Joe Blow from Kokomo, who sits there and bets on the boss's computer. But the courts are now working their way through this problem. That is, can the boss tell you when you go to work for the boss that everything you produce is ours? And we can monitor, we can look at it, and so forth. There is a compelling argument that under traditional principles of what agency law that seems to belong to the boss. There are some courts, particularly one in New Jersey, a case called Stuart, where a young lady, thinking the axe was about to fall, used her office Google account to get into her personal Google account where she talked to her lawyer. The company came in and said every time she opened that computer, there was a big notice. It says, whatever you do on this computer is ours. You don't have any privacy right in it. But the New Jersey court, nevertheless, chastised the lawyers for looking at what was obviously privileged. Despite their contention, why in the world did she put it on that computer? There are contrary authority to that. So this is anything but clearly established. The argument of the corporation is you're warned, you're told, but crying out loud, take the phone out of your pocket. Don't use this stuff here. Because that also gets us into the problem where we have to go through all of that stuff because you're doing the NCAA brackets or shopping for Thanksgiving. All of the other issues, you would love to see legislation that talks about that. But apparently, a lot of noise, but I used to represent Indian tribes, and they, they would say of the white man's promises, often do we hear the thunder, seldom do we feel the rain. Well, when it comes to this body of law and we look to Congress, often we hear the thunder, seldom do we feel the rain of regulations that talk about this. And the thing that drives me crazy is that in the same period of time, our European brothers and sisters did a sophisticated and demanding regulation about all of this, endless number of conferences and so forth, and somehow got all the members of the EU to agree to it. And it's a remarkable first start. And it's a wonderful chart on which we could now graph. I don't know if anybody is going to do that, but it's hideously overdue. To have as many of these standards as there are states or cities for that matter, doesn't make any sense at all.